All right, welcome back to uh, Incarnate Word Week here with the Lone Star Conference. This is Shane Milling. I'm joined now by uh, Cardinal Head Volleyball Coach Jennifer Montoya. Coach, uh, it's kind of been an up and down season for you guys this year. You've, you've had some big wins and then you've probably had some losses that you thought going in uh, that you, you had a good chance to win. What's kind of the feeling on the team right now? You're basically midway through the season. Uh, you know, how are things going for you guys? Well, like you said, we've had our ups and downs. Uh, I think the biggest battle this year has been trying to get our youth to grow up really fast. Um, we've got a handful of players that are young and in key roles on the court. They're either never coming off, they're expected to do everything from offense to defense, and it's been it's been a little bit of a challenge to try to try to see their development through and as quickly as possible. You know, we don't have a lot of time and um, we don't really see this as a rebuilding year. We did graduate a ton of seniors, but you know, we we have the ability to get a kill from almost any position in almost any rotation. And that's that's been a big a difference from, from basically last, last season. Um, we didn't have enough rally enders in my opinion. Um, Defensively, you know, we're, we've always been competitive in that department, uh, leading the charge, Lydia Wurchin back there. Uh, but I, I think the biggest thing this year has been trying to just get to that point where we can play at a high level consistently. You know, um, you, you mentioned you have a lot of different people who can get the kill, and if you look at the box scores, very rarely do we have one person that kind of has a lot of more kills than someone else. Usually we're around nine or ten, depending on how long the match goes. Um, you know, and that's that's a good thing. It seems like uh, Tina Chavez, uh, the a senior transfer in this year, has kind of been your most consistent uh, person if just looking at attack percentage. Can you just talk about her and, and kind of what she brings to the team? Oh, yeah. Um, great addition to this year's squad, you know, bringing in somebody from the outside you know this late in in their career you always wonder about how well they're going to mesh with the team and uh we've had a fantastic year in that department um she's she's really integrated herself and i mean just adding some more of that senior leadership you know she already brings to the table collegiate experience and we need that this year because of the youth that's on the court at any given moment, um, and I and I feel like her performance has been pretty solid. From you know, no matter who we're playing, if if our team is struggling, you know, she's usually still having a a pretty pretty solid game offensively. Um, I think she's she's definitely been one of our go-to players and and um, a big staple for our, for our offense. And then finally, uh, you know, this weekend you have uh, two home matches: West Texas A&M and Eastern New Mexico. Just talk a little about, I guess, the importance of, of these two matches. Well, uh, every match is important in, in our book, and I, I think um, you can't get through a season, you know, looking too far ahead. And the goal for us has really been take one match at a time. Let's let's do our best and let's learn from it. You know, win or lose, our whole goal is to to leave it all out there on the court and to, to strive to play our best volleyball. Um, we've had some really really competitive practices and trying to transfer that you know with the pressures of the game um, I think I think we've done a pretty decent job of of exposing the younger players to that kind of pressure in practice and it's you know nothing beats nothing beats the the game scenario with the officials and the pressure of an opponent um, but big weekend for us and we want to come out strong you know Regardless of who's on the other side of the net, we're, we're trying to focus on playing our game well. All right. Thanks, Coach, and thank you for watching uh, Incarnate Word Week here with the Lone Star Conference.